Well, greetings and salutations, folks. Brandon Robinson back here, speaking to the YouTube faithful, all those who are watching, all 10 of you, maybe. Um, Bearcats, San Mateo Bearcats, back in session again for game number 16. We just lost our last game. We got it handed to us from a three-run homer, and that was the difference here. Lowering my ego back to 90, I think, is going to be my settling point. We'll see, but let's take a look at the splash screen here. We are 11-4, and four, facing the 8-7 and seven Herbisaurs. We have played them in the past. When we played them, I believe it was a home game, and we beat them 6-2. to two. Granted, Kylie was pitching, uh, who's been phenomenal each game out, but uh, I think Emily can hand it to them as well. We'll see. They are not necessarily a great hitting team. They are defensive experts with a decent starting pitching, but this is their number four pitcher who can throw hard. So a lot of kind of things in the way there. We'll see how we do. This is a road game that we're playing them on. Let's see how we fare. Um, now, this is a game that I said Paige Stovland actually has to sit out for. And in fact, I'm likely putting everybody in the starting lineup who is on the bench. So I'm going to find something for everybody here. Uh, McHugh is not batting third, however. I'll just drop her down to nine for now as a default. We'll see what happens after that. Uh, Gabby is probably going to play for Paige Otis here in right field. And then... Julian Morella likely not in at the same time here. I know they were in that last game, but I don't do that all the time. So I'll probably see one of the two out. Julia is on the hotter thing, so I'll ride the hot hand. And let's put in Dulce in left field. Um, if Monet and Raya are both playing, and I'll play Raya for another game right here, but I'll probably have Monet catch because Raya is a little uh, lessened as far as, um, at as far as stamina goes. So I'll play Monet at catcher here while Raya takes first base. That's fine. But Paige has to come out here too, and we'll see what I do there. Sorry, I gotta play this lineup a little bit. I think Jarl's coming out here and get Jada and Callista in at second for now. And all that remains is Taylor, excuse me, Paige and Kendall. And I think I, oh, I need Jada in here as well at some point. Uh, we'll see what I do. I know Kendall's out of position here. We'll see what I do there. Maybe, maybe Raya sits, I don't know. I do want, I do want to secure that win. See how I can get that, but I am gonna get Jada in this game. Where do I put her here? I want Raya in this game. I'll tell you what. I do. Um, let's do... Okay, I'll start with Raya out. It's nothing that I normally would do. But I, I do want to see Jada play this game again. In fact, I want to see her hit right behind Taylor. Actually, I did this once and it was successful. I'll do Jada... Kendall Taylor and then the rest is gonna be really picking up the pieces from there so Calista Gabby Dulce Emily all right not loving it as far as everything because we're out of position so we'll find the positions here um shortstop Julie can play short Taylor can play third Kendall can take center or Jada can take center even no Jada needs to be at first unless Gabby is at first Gabby's at first, we can put Jada in center, Kendall in right, and that is looking swell. All right, let's play ball. Let's let's get this win out of the way, huh? At Bingada Ball. Playing the Herbisaurs at their home yard. Let's make it happen, shall we? Um, while I'm leading Jada off, and while she's starting off here, there's a story I said I was gonna say a long time ago, so let's say it now. It's our very last game of the year. <laughs> Uh, a game that we should have won if it weren't for me, and here was a call that I, oh, it's like a dome, look at that. For a, um, for something that I should have called that I didn't. And, um, so, we were playing this city called Jefferson, and they had this third baseman who was very flat-footed at third base, meaning she wasn't really ready to charge bunts. Look at that glove with the buck teeth in the, uh, out in front of, in center field. Hey, fans all around, literally, I mean, blowing fans, not just the cheering fans. Anyway, so Jada was actually batting third in this game. Remember, she was a righty with me. Uh, she actually had some power, and I batted her third quite a bit. And I think I probably even have on this actual game. Hey, look, there's a drone. Two drones. Um, anyway, so we had first and second no outs. It's the top of the sixth inning. I think kind of soon to become that last inning. Maybe it's the top of the seventh. I can't remember. Sixth or seventh inning. We're the uh, away team there. First and second, no outs, and have Jada up to bat. And Jada had already smashed the ball a couple times, I do believe. And I think this was just a scenario where I say, you know what? It's a good time to bunt. It's a good time to bunt because we had, you know, Monet and Raisa afterward. You know, Raisa, Monet, whichever way the order was. But we had those players afterward, and it just seemed like a nice time to just bunt. And if she bunts, it's likely 
she's actually even gonna make it. Right down the third. Um, I tried to check. Uh, trying to tell a story while swinging. I tried to check that swing. It didn't work. Sorry, Tay. Uh, I just felt like it was a right time to bunt. But I didn't call it. I, I had too much pride. I had too much egotistical thought in saying that, you know, Jada could also crush the ball. I think she had a far line out, uh, a far fly out line out to left field, now that I'm trying to remember. I think that's what she did. She had a nice shot to left field. I think it was caught really deep, but I said, she, she's clearly locked in against this pitcher. She is the three batter. Why not just have her just, you know, cash money, cash it in, instead of just going, you know, simple, going for a bunt because look i'm fine with the sack bunt too i'm fine with her getting out at first base but the thing was i just didn't think she'd get out at first base i just thought the third baseman was so far back and if she bunts it down the third baseline yeah, i don't want a third baseman i just i thought she'd make it but i didn't call the bunt. i didn't call the bunt. and truly oh hang on and truly this this third baseman really seemed like a blissfully unaware individual it's just how it felt to me I, i'm not trying to call her out i don't know who i don't know what her name is i don't know who she is but she's kind of felt like a blissfully unaware individual. Jada hits a hot shot to her, a hot smash. I mean, it goes like right at her, like her backhand side, but she's right on the corner. Hot smash right at her, ground ball. Remember, it's first and second, no outs. This third baseman not only caught it, I mean, it was on the ground, but not only caught it, but had the audacity and ability to step on her bag at third and get the speedy Jada out at first base. Almost. And get the speedy Jada out at first base. I couldn't believe that that was a possibility that Jada could ever hit into a double play. It only had to be from a ball hit so hard to third base where the girl has to take one step over, make no other transition throws other than a first base, and throw a strike and get her by half a step, quarter step, whatever. Double play. I and mean, look, we were still up. The score was like 6-2 or something like that. 5-2, I forget what it was. We were still winning. But, you know, imagine if that ball goes through. Imagine if it's an error. Imagine if I bunt for her. Now with Raisa and Monet and all that coming up, anything could possibly work here. And just, you know, it's, I, I, I dug us into a hole. It didn't work out. It was one of the things that just elected to this last game of woes. And I might start talking about that last game a little bit because I got to clear my conscience of some things. There are just some things that just didn't work out for me. It was just too bad. Um, come on! No! I thought I, I thought it was deep enough that that was going to be a sack fly. Oh, I thought that was worth sending her. I, I would send her again in that situation. And again, I'm saying that in hindsight knowing she got out. It had to take a good throw to get her. I just, I thought that ball was hit deep enough. You don't not send them in that situation. Now, the only reason I don't want to talk about the game, really, that other, that last game of the year is because, um, I don't know, I don't remember exactly what happened in every scenario. But let's say that that was the last half inning for us. Maybe it was the top of the seventh. I think we're up six to two, though. So let's say that was the last half inning there. Yeah. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Ah, wouldn't have got him. Oh, tech. Wouldn't have got him anyway. He did get off that bag, though. All right. I remember Juan Rojas. I don't remember if he homered. I remember his name clearly, though. He must have done so. I think I do remember him homering, actually, now that I think about it. I wouldn't remember a name like Juan Rojas unless he killed one for a home run. Emily's doing okay so far. She even got that ground ball on that other one. Yeah. Good job, Emily. Feeling better about my pitchers and my pitching now. Especially my three, four string pitchers here. <gasps> I'm throwing a lot more balls and a lot more okay with a walk. You know what I mean? Then again, I mean, I was before, but they just weren't swinging. So I was like, all that's going to happen is a walk. But now it seems like they're actually... Chasing a few more pitches out of the zone. Not necessarily. Maybe I'm just sequencing my pitches better. Ooh, I didn't think that was a strike, I'll be honest. There we go. So anyway, so she gets into a double play, and then... Maybe Rice is up, maybe she walks, or gets some sort of hit. But I don't think that run scores from second. Remember, the runner at third got out. The runner at first got out in the double play. I think maybe Raisa walks, and I think, like, Monet grounds out. Something like that. So, it's... Instead of getting that walk to score a run, instead of getting that ground ball to go through a hole when the infield's up and things like that, we get out of the inning, we don't score a run, so. No matter, it's still it's still a four-run lead going to the last inning. They have 9-1-2 coming up. 
Kylie was pitching the game and she was throwing a gem. Obviously only giving up two hit two run two runs, excuse me. Hiccups. Timeout. Okay, and we're back. Alright. Whew. He's kind of locked in. Olaf Slakoff is his name. Slakoff. Should be Oaf. Ah, should be Oaf Slakoff. Probably shouldn't be. He's throwing, he's throwing pretty well. Not not too lazily here. Anyway, so that last game of the year. So we're up. I want to say the score 6 2. We're up 6 2. We're the away team. They're the home team. Bottom of the last inning, they play seven innings in high school softball. Even high school baseball. But bottom of that last inning. Ooh, 0-0. Zero, zero. Man, I'm telling you what, this season's offense and everything has changed so much since uh, since those games when I was having an ego of 80. I'm telling you, that difficulty is way different. So Kylie's pitching, and 9-1-2 um, nine, nine, hitter's coming up, and, and this 9 hitter's not much of a hitter. And the unthinkable happens, she accidentally drills the hitter on the first pitch. So hitting the first hitter, eh, it's not what you want at all, right? It's something you want to get an out for, but, you know, still up by four runs, you think you can still manage and get those outs. I guess so. This is also their third or fourth time facing her in the order, right? And obviously when you get multiple looks, other things can happen. I can't tell you what happened the rest of the inning. Honestly, I cannot remember. I, I don't know. I remember there's one girl, because she was my one of my travel players, a girl named Leanna, who I think had a, like a two-run double or triple or something like that. Very, you know, very good hit. Obviously was getting it closer and more tense. <clears throat> but upon hitting that girl, <clears throat> and I have to rewind the game before to really talk to you about it. Upon hitting that girl, I was thinking, you know, maybe this is the time to put in Jody to pitch. And in hind, uh, not 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 in hindsight, but upon thinking about it, over <laughs> I've I've had nightmares about this game. I've thought about it a lot. Upon thinking about this game so many times, I really should have put in Jody. Um. And it had nothing to do with Kylie. It just had to do with getting a different look. Jody's a different speed. Jody's gonna. Uh, uh, Jody has different pitches. It was, it was just a, it was all about a different look. Really, the only reason. Who? Really, the only reason I didn't put in Jody was because the day before we were playing a makeup. No, I'm sorry. This Jefferson game was a makeup game. This Jefferson game was a game that was rained out earlier in the year. And we had to make it up. But this this was being played now as the last game of the year. Because we had to push it at some point. It was kind of a rainy season. So we had to push games whenever we could. This was the only place we could put it. This game came after Senior Day's game the day before. And on Senior Day, we played a team, South San Francisco. And they... Oh, I cannot hit the ball anymore. Nobody can hit the ball anymore. I'm not swinging well. Played South San Francisco, who is an offensive powerhouse. We were an offensive powerhouse as well. That's why I'm saying we should be able to hit right now. None of, I'm probably swinging at too many first pitches, you yeah. know. Like, we had a game where we won, like, we won, like, 20 to, like, 15 against them. It was some, like, just offensive powerhouses through and through. So they're a good hitting team. But Jody pitched in the senior game. She earned the right to. She should have, all that stuff. We were up 7-2. to two, I remember this. We were up 7-2 to two in that game in the seventh inning. And there was a thought of, do I pull Jody out, who's throwing so well? Now, I wouldn't pull Jody out for the sake of what she's doing in that particular game. The question is, do I save her energy because we play a game tomorrow, the next day, against a Jefferson team who we mercy ruled and shellacked the time we played them before? I mean, it wasn't even close. So for this other game, no! Oh, almost robbed it. And one nothing. So for this other game to have been close, even 6-2 in that scenario, was beyond me. It was just, it behooved me that it happened. Um... So, I pitched Jody that last... You know, I don't know if it was 7-2. I think maybe it was 7 nothing. They, and the final score was 7-2. I remember Calista threw out a runner at home to seal the game. That was really cool from left field. She threw a runner out at home. That was awesome. Uh, okay. Mr. Rojas is back. One out. Double play? How about it? So, anyway, so I keep Jody in that last inning. And she actually throws several pitches that last inning to say... Maybe I've tired her out a little bit. Maybe, it, you know, that's... Maybe this is going to cost us for the next game long term. But I did throw her that seventh inning. So the only reason I didn't throw her for that last half inning was because of that. Now, there was a second reason, and it had to do with my mind not being in the right place. I'm not going to call people out on anything. It's just, uh, it's just a parent was suggesting something that... You know, I don't like parents giving suggestions. A parent suggested something, and then I, you know, it kind of got me in fumes. So maybe I wasn't thinking in the right mindset. I didn't talk to Bob and Tony enough about it and ask them questions about what should we do. 
Um, so I'd say that one cost cost us, and that was clearly. Oh, ah, uh, darn it! I don't know if they would have gotten him anyway. Ah, so that was clearly my doing. That was clearly my doing. Um, so I did keep Kylie in that game. I never threw Jody in that game. Uh, they got enough. They ended up winning. Um, there was there was an error in that uh, in that bottom of the seventh. Um, that could have, you know, been fared better off. That wasn't the end of the... It wasn't like there were... It wasn't like that was what blew us the game, but there was an error in that uh, inning that was a big one. Um, it was a player who I had faith in. And despite the fact that there was another player who could have potentially been playing the position, I still felt like it was the right decision to be doing what I was doing. Um, there was a player, one of our premier players, who had to stay for, uh, for an AP test that day so she couldn't be in the starting lineup. So I worked hard with my scorekeeper on crafting a lineup for that game. That's why Jada batted third that game as well. So that girl stayed for an AP test, couldn't start in a lineup, and I wanted to get her in the game whenever I could. Wanted her to get stretched and warmed up. She didn't really stretch too much. She did get in that bat. Can't remember if I ran for her eventually after. I think she got on. Eventually I ran for her, but she never came back in the game. Uh, she was the one who could have played shorts up and you know probably would have secured the ball and done some things. I'm not saying that that cost us the game, though. I'm, or not saying that would have won us the game, either. I don't think we even got two outs in that inning. So, you know, that uh, all this stuff happened. There, there was that. There was not bunting Jada. There was not putting in Jody. Those were the two big ones that I should have done. I really should have done. Um, and it just it just wasn't meant to be. And I, just, I feel so bad about it because this team fought so hard. And, you know, so we were, we, we were bound to be tied neck and neck with a team called Sequoia High School to lead the division. We even split the games we played each other. We beat Sequoia off a walk-off single by Jada, by the way. We beat Sequoia, and Sequoia beat us once. And I don't know if two, I don't know if decisions have been made for CCS. I think if we win that game, we're in CCS. That's fine. But, you know, there are different divisions in our section, in the Central Coast section, that determine whether or not you can move up or down a division based on whether you feel qualified for it. And I don't think they're going to put a second place team up in the upper division when there's a first place team that can go up instead. So we had like a tied record with Sequoia. Um, okay, so we had a tied record with Sequoia going into that game. Sequoia, or whatever, I think Sequoia didn't have, didn't have a rained out game, so we had to win to tie with them. And then it would be all about the CCS meeting to argue, you know, the, the whole co-section meeting to argue and determine who should get that top spot. And really, we were trying to argue for us. It should have been us, could have been us. We had seven freshmen on the team. We're gonna build over time. And with Alyssa, the next two years, they went very deep in CCS. They went in the semifinals last year, two years ago, whenever. They got in the semifinals very recently as well, and they've been in CCS since. So they've been a fantastic team. There's nothing against the reason why we shouldn't have gone up to the division. And now we are up in that division uh, after Alyssa came and took over. Now we are up in that, I think, Bay Division instead of the Ocean Division, whatever it is. Um, jeez, do I have a hit? <laughs> I have one hit. Um, this is bad, guys. I, I don't know if I'm talking too much from this game. Because obviously I'm not saying any strategy, I'm just telling stories. There we go, Dulce, thank you. Um, yeah, I gotta, I gotta start collecting some hits. Herbisaurs aren't that good, are they? McHugh's doing fine, right? Her stamina's still good. I can still play her. I have some players on the bench that, you know, deserve to kind of come in this game to make some things happen. I, I I guess I'm almost done talking. I just want to talk about this stuff here. Ooh, they're guarding lines for Bunt. Guard this. Um, so anyway. So if we win, you know, now it's going to be an argument at, or a debate at the uh, meeting. Get down! I was saying get up enough to go over their head. Get down enough to uh, have them not catch it. That'd be a nice happy medium that I don't think was possible to make happen. Come on, Jada. Whew. Uh, anyway, so we lose that game. Well, we lose that game, so now there's no shot for us to be able to secure that division thing. So losing that game was very costly for us. I blew it. I really did. I profusely apologize to anyone who I ever see about it. it it's, it, you know, it was the end of me, really, when it came to um, feeling like I should be worthy to helm a team again. Uh, despite these players worked so hard, they worked their asses off for like the entire, I'm choking up over it. They worked their asses off over the entire year to just be brought down by my lack of proper decision making, um, or prepping them the right way. Um, 
you know, I end up saying these other things that I go back to when I say, remember how I once said, if you're watching all my games, there you go, Emily. Remember how I once said that Izzy actually broke her arm, wrist, whatever. Um, at the time that we were going to play Jefferson, when we were rained out, she didn't yet have a broken, a broken uh, bone. So, because of the rain out having to play later, I didn't have Izzy. You know, my three hitter, you know, one of my pitchers, my starting shortstop, second baseman, you know, whatever. My starting middle infielder. I didn't have her for the makeup game when I would have had her for the regular. That's another thing I go back to and I say, oh, there would have been that. There's another small one where the pitcher had a decent change up and was striking out this one player every time. And I said, if they strike her out again, I swear I'm going to just pull her out. And that, I think that would have helped too. And just all these, all these small, yeah, all these small things, guys, all these small things. So now you're hearing about kind of my apologetic little way of, I really did blow that game. Uh, it really was my fault. They worked so hard all year and deserved so much more than I gave them. And, um, I don't know. It's, I, I just wish I was playing with them again. And that's why I'm doing this season with them. You know, that's the reason. Hey, let's throw somebody out, please. Come on. That looks like an out. All right, Emily, let's, let's finish this half inning. Yeah. And then I'll, I'll go to the bullpen. My bullpen's rested now because Tony went the distance last time. All right, now I get to go inside after doing a few of those. Fool him. Fool him. Ah, three, one. Darn it. Hey, thank you. Okay, now I'm going to start thinking about some subs here. Um, I have two hits. This is obviously the worst performance ever for me so far. Uh, I'm not subbing any of these guys. Not Kendall, Taylor, or Monet. Definitely not. Kendall's taking an 0 for 9. 0 for last 8 or 9 right now, though. So, at least. So, definitely want to break out of that. <sighs> okay, I gotta stop swinging at first pitch. This is incredible. I'm not gonna swing the first pitch here. I just gotta... Okoff, what our Olaf has been doing. Isn't Olaf the guy from Frozen? The snowman? Or the... The moose? I think Olaf's the snowman. Right? Ooh, not much of a strike to me. Sorry. We gotta get two runs, too. Never mind the fact we only have two hits. We gotta get two runs. I don't want to have a losing streak. We have already lost the game. I do not want to have a losing streak, that's for sure. This is incredible, guys. I don't know where my offense went. Suddenly, I'm a guy who can't play this game. I don't know what it is. And it doesn't have to do with me storytelling. I'm paying attention to what I'm doing here. I mean, I look back and say, oh, I shouldn't have done that, but I don't think I'm too distracted. Oh my god. <sighs> Alright, I'm going to the bullpen here. Um, let's let's do some swaps now. I don't I don't know what. I have page page in the game. <sighs> page can play outfield. Dulce got a hit though. But I'll I'll run for Dulce if she gets on again. Depending on the situation. I have Raya there. And I really really got Paige Stovlin and Raya. I really want to get them. Probably Morella. I want Gabby to hit. Um so I'll probably put Paige here. Second. Put Paige at second base. Start there. Start there and see what we can do. I really gotta break Jade out of her shell. That's that's the big one. Oh, I gotta take her out. Really gotta Jake break Jade out of her shell though. That's the big one. Hey, Bob's all rested. I I have more faith in Bob than any other reliever outside of Alyssa here. Not as a hitter. But as a pitcher, heck yeah. Because they chase his stuff. As long as he doesn't make any mistakes. Did, did they homer? I think this team homered, right? Am I living and dying out the homer again? Was it a two-run homer? See, they don't score a lot of runs through, like, RBI singles. You know, I'm, I'm giving up runs through home runs, really. Primarily. That, that seems to be the case. It doesn't seem like I'm giving up much else. Than that. I'm sometimes every. I mean, look at them chasing that. They would never chase Jody on that. Oh, that's a mistake. They would never chase Jody with that. You know what I mean? But Bob, they they do. It's the deceit. That was a mistake pitch. That shouldn't have ever happened. Okay, this is their two hitter, Dolph Stake. Kind of back to him again. You think they're gonna steal? There they go. Let's uh, let's get out of this inning, yeah? Okay, let's score some runs, guys. Here we go. Six more outs to go. Paige is in this game. Let's do it. Julia gets on, I'll probably run for her. Maybe run Morella. Or maybe have Morella. Uh, maybe have Jaro run for her. 
Get down. There we go. All right. Maybe I wasn't focused enough, right? Telling too much of a story. Uh, okay, here we go. Julia. Jaro can play short. Diminished some speed. Her speed's almost the same as Julia's now that they're both kind of locked in. I don't know now. Morella's faster, though, but I want Morella in a hitting situation. You know what I mean? She'll probably hit for Bob. Actually, Raya will probably hit for Bob. Or Dulce. I want Morella. I want Morella and them to hit for that. So let's, let's put Jaro in for Julia. And I'm going to have Jaro and Paige swap positions there. Now, Jaro, just a little bit more speed is going to be what I want for now. Come on! Get down! Let's get back, get back, get back, get back, get back, get back, get back. Whew! Darn it, almost got down. Alright, Gabby. You got that raw power in you, kid? Here we go. Ah! Why aren't they squaring it up? Oh boy! Alright. Why aren't they squaring it up? I gotta put in Raya now. If I have a chance to tie it, I gotta put her in. I don't know what I'm gonna do position-wise. I can put Raya at third and Taylor in the outfield and all that stuff. I can swap this. Let's swap it prematurely before I forget to. Raya at third base. She's gonna stay in this game now. And let's tie it, kid! I have faith! <laughs> Darn it. I can't hit! <laughs> I have three hits! What's going on? Oh my god, three, four, five hitters. That's okay, Bob's pitching. And Bob will get pinch hit for clearly. Plus more. Okay. But I think I think he can get a good half inning in here, but I need two runs. I have three hits. Guys, this is this is the channel where I'm collecting What the heck? <laughs> Jaro! <laughs> no! <laughs> hey, maybe because she was going back. I should have called him off. I should have called him off with the outfielder. Word to the wise, if you're an outfielder and you can catch a ball, uh-oh. Okay. If you can catch a ball, call off your infielder. General word to the wise there. Oh, great. Now I gotta score three runs. Ah, Bobby! Where you going, bud? You're going the wrong way. Yep. Go home. No! Four runs. I gotta score four runs. It's, it gets harder. It feels... It compounds on you like twice as hard you know like it become like heh. every run that scores makes it seem like it's gonna be twice no get why are you breaking toward i don't care if they're stealing it becomes like almost twice as hard to like get them out after to to tie it up afterward for everyone that scores the level of complexity and difficulty in making it happen seems whoo Oh, could have that been any less foul? My answer's no. Alright, let's go to. Did she throw behind her back? That was kind of sweet. I want to get a double play right now with Fiona. She's slow. Please don't steal, that's all. I'm just going to throw drop balls until they start anticipating it. Let's see if I can get that double play. Now, they, they tend to sky these sometimes. With Bob being so nasty, I'm hoping they can still hit it on the ground or strike out. Uh, she anticipated it. All right. How about this? You anticipate this one? Whoo! Didn't anticipate it, but it's ball three. Nice. All right, two outs. Ah! <sighs> I, don't, I don't know if I'm going to win this game, guys. I only have three hits, and I need to score four runs. They're pitching their pitcher. He's going for a complete... They're batting their pitcher. They're keeping him in the game. They're going to go for a complete game shutout with him. So they're okay to get him out because they think that he's throwing that well. I mean, I'm serious. They think he's throwing that well. And he is. That, uh... No! No! Oh, no! The pitcher gets an infield hit. Bob probably shouldn't be pitching anymore, but I feel like I can just... You know, I'm getting in that flustered state again. I really am. I cannot believe... Oh, thank you, Ryan. Ugh. I'm getting in a state of despair. 0 for 3, Jada 0 for 3, Kendall. I think Taylor might even be... No, Taylor, I think, has a hit. Okay, Morella. We need to score five runs now. It became, like... <laughs> became, like, eight times harder to come back and tie this game. And it probably did. That's good. That's a good start. 
Oh, that's a, well, it doesn't matter, right? I need five runs no matter how I get it. It takes away the force. That doesn't matter too much. Just her getting on is all that matters to me. Hey, Jade, I gotta take pitches with you, kid. I gotta figure out a way. Your contact is steady. There's no reason why you shouldn't be successful as a hitter. And I don't know why I'm not being successful with you. I feel so bad about it. But there's, there's no reason why it shouldn't be happening right now. Like that! There's no reason why it shouldn't be happening. Almost a base hit. Unfortunately, it's one of the base runners that I need, and I'm not going to get anymore. Oh, that's my pitch, but a changeup. That's my pitch, too! Alright. I shouldn't be sending her, and I won't. Again, not worth the risk. If she gets out, that's just a run that can't score later. Okay, so who's coming up here? Taylor, Scheller, Jaro, Page. Okay. Stay safe long enough. I have faith in Taylor for sure. Let's do it, kid. They don't need to go home. They want to turn a double play. Get down. Yes, Taylor. All right. I need one more person to reach base safely. I just need Monet to stay out of the double play to start with, and that'll feel good. Obviously, if she gets on, there would be another thing. All right. Now that the shutout's not in play, they take out their pitcher. I would have done the same thing. Grump ever bright. Now, I'm surprised they're not going to their closer. Uh, so let's see how he can do. Fastball. Screwball and curveball. When they jam pitch, oh, screwball. Okay, lefty. That was the screwball, I think. So not a very junky. Yes, not a very junky screwball. I don't want to send her home. It's kind of rough. You kind of do want to, because you don't want to hit into a double play. Right, I gotta press pause for a second. My heart's racing. This is a game I really want. This game, guys. I don't want to lose two in a row. Jaro could do it. She's tense right now, though, so her mojo went way down. Do I power swing or contact swing? I don't know. I'm going to power swing for now. Less of a chance of double play, I think, but probably less contact chance, but I really want to get this. Now, I was thinking of sending my runner home. Problem was, I forgot who it was. I don't know if she was fast enough or not. I think it's Kendall. But I was thinking about sending her home because if she does make it, second and third go over, that's good because it avoids the double play. It, it, it would have been a lot better. So double play is still in order, and they're getting ready for that. Here we go. Come on. Who's on deck? Paige, right? Paige Stoveland? Okay. Maybe I do contact swing. I'm going to power swing for one strike only. I should take for a pitch, actually. All right, that's good. All right, I'm going to contact swing. Stay out of the double play. Here we go. My heart is racing right now. Whew. We got this. We got this. Come on! Carry! 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 Yes! Off the wall! Let's go! 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 Yes! Let's go! Let's go! Jaro! Oh, kid! How do I check her mojo after that? She's reset now. And the hottest hitter on the team, absolutely. And Gabby, and Ryan, and we're the away team, so I gotta do as much as I possibly can. I can't just tie it or anything else. They're still good hitters, and Bob is now out. I got Jepson. My heart's racing. For all the for our probability of not panning out and for Jada getting out and all that, man. So. Can we get this done? We have the ability to. I got a contact swing still. I, I want to get runs out of time. Chip away. Chip away. Why did they go? Oh wow. Okay. So they so they got an out, but that doesn't change the tying run. Well it does. Now Paige's on second. I'm going to steal. I should I didn't know they were going to go home. I, I wasn't even thinking about that. Come on, Gabby! Get out! Oh, I got under it just a little bit! Oh, no! Oh, that's the ball game. Oh, man. And we lose. Oh. Just got under it a little bit. And we lose the game in 3-5. We lost twice in a row. My heart is now sunk. I'm keeping the ego at 90, though. I'm going to keep at this. This is gonna, it's more realistic. It's getting more competitive and such. But, man, we should be winning a lot more games than this. I threw my controller over here. Oh, that could have carried out. I could have stolen. Contact swung. I don't know what. Everything was in place. I was thinking if they threw home, maybe it could have ran back in time. Maybe it could have pinch ran. I didn't need to pinch run, I thought, though, because they shouldn't have cared about her. And, oh, uh, they gave up the three runs from Bob the home run. And, oh, uh, always things in hindsight, guys. I don't know how this is happening here, but uh, I'm not doing incredibly anymore. 
I'm not hitting that that half that inning was good that gave me faith that I can do it again that's just because I focused so hard on it and their pitcher was burning out so notice how their closer here I only gave up two hits they did um who Jaro came through that was nice I love that uh Paige took an 0 for 2 um okay on the pinch hitting appearance there so uh didn't pan out didn't pan out Morella's staying hot she got her pinch hit base hit um yeah definitely definitely seeing more than separating the hot hitters from the not hot hitters now but kendall is slowly cooling off a lot a lot a lot jada took an 0 for 4 from the leadoff spot there but no one was hitting at the time all players of the game from their team of course there all right so uh that was an unfortunate loss there it got fun at the end it sure did and gabby could have taken it away if it just carried out a little bit more i don't know what parks it could have gone out on probably the ones with the high walls i think that would have actually gone out Okay, guys, so that ought to do it for this one here. Mm. Oh, I'm so emotional over that loss there. Are we 11, I think we're 11 and 5 now. So suddenly, guys, we're, we're losing several games here. So I'm going to see that we win a few after this. I'm not changing the difficulty, but uh, we're going back to Jody pitching. I'm going to see that we can get some wins back again. All right, that ought to do it for me, guys. Uh, this is Brandon Robinson with a heavy sunken heart. I am signing off. Take care. I love you all. Thank you for watching.